Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Moonlighter. We did a little bit more farming in the tech dungeon. So we got almost 3 million gold. But I didn't actually upgrade any tools yet, so I'm gonna actually do that just right now. <laughs> so that's gonna be very fun. Not really. But we're just getting some upgrades. Oh no, we don't have enough. Wait, oh wait, never mind. We do have enough. I just clicked on the wrong one, like an idiot. Oop. This should be good for all that. Yeah, iron boots plus four. We're gonna buy this. Upgrade and then get the upgraded bow. All that money down the drain. Now I do more damage. Let's go upgrade our stuff. I think we should stick with the the weapon first. 120. That's, yeah, let's do with the weapon. Yeah. You know what? I think we have enough. Upgrade all the things. There we go. Now we're maxed. Fusion three. Yep. All right. We're good. We got potions up the ass. So let's do the tech dungeon now. Oh yeah. Check my mimic. There's nothing there. Let's check my box real quick. Yeah, we got all this junk that we're gonna uh, probably sell later, even though I don't think we really need to sell it if we don't really need the money. We got, I think we got enough heals. Got a thousand HP. Let's see what the old man has to say. Oop, my bad. What would you like to talk about? Grandfather. Oh, you want to know more about that, oh stubborn grandfather of yours? He, I, and even Crazy Pete would often sit together at this fire at night. He sat right where you are now, actually. The three of us would discuss the day's lows and highs. I remember the night your grandfather dropped his pack, lit a cigar and just sat in silence with a grin on his face. After an awkward silence, he told us, my daughter had a son today. <gasps> wow. Tomo. Tomo, eh? Why would you want to know more about her, my boy? Wink. Well, as you know, she is a kind of girl, albeit a bit strange. Her parents left early this year to travel and document other parts of the world. They left her here alone on the promise that she would never travel past the second floor of the Golem Dungeon. Golem Dungeon isn't it the first dungeon. She grew up an ever curious girl, always wanting to explore. She had broken her parents' rule more than once or twice. It's funny. No one's laughing though. She was asking about you just yesterday. Yeah, what'd she ask me about? Crazy Pete. A fool, but a dear friend. They called him Crazy Pete because he didn't dungeon dive for treasure or glory. His prize was information. In a time where people wanted to get rich or have their heads bashed in, Pete just wanted to know what the dungeons were. He would spend days in those dungeons, wherever he is now. I hope he's at peace. Be well, my friend. Uh, what else we got? Discover dungeons? This is the point of contest for many. A man by the name of Diego, a son of a high-ranking officer in a nearby kingdom, was held accountable for their discovery while on scouting missions. It wasn't him that stumbled upon them, though. It was a young scout who was disobeyed orders and abandoned his boat for the night. It was he who actually came across the dungeons. But the narrative was quickly shifted to favor the privileged. Let's see what else we got here. Father's death. <gasps> Your parents. Your father would go into the dungeons to gather artifacts. While your mother would operate the shop. 
he would be the first to tell you he wasn't the best fighter. One evening, he was pushing himself too far, wanting to put a little extra food on the table. His luck ran out, leaving you and your mother to this world. I'm so sorry, Will. He was a good man, a good father. He was also dead. What about mother's death? A little over a year ago now. It was an illness that took her. She was pushing herself too hard. After your father's death, she had the two dungeon dive, as well as run the shop to revive for you. She never fully recovered from your father's death. And eventually, her heart gave from the strain of everything. She passed quietly with you and the townspeople at her bedside. She loved you, boy. Possibly too much. Please don't waste her love, Will. You must pace yourself. Okay. I'm not gonna pace myself. I'm going to the tech dungeon. Tech dungeon! See how much damage I do. Everything's like, went from like... Not upgraded to like, fully upgraded. Sheesh! Holy shit. Oh god. Whirly jig. Beep, boop, boop, boo doo. Oh, I'm getting electrocuted. Sentinels have been reported to bizarre opposition errors as well. Late. Their reported location do not match their research. Yeah, oh, yeah, we already read this. Let's heal up. Damn, look at that damage. Ow. Yeah, get rigged, dog. Alright, Mimic. Take everything and I'll pick out the potions. There we go. We got the potions ready. Tech Dungeon 2. Freaking zappy boys. Oh yeah, we need to kill those, huh? <laughs> For a quest. But honestly, I don't care. Lol. Oh shit. Die, cylinder object. Yeah. Really, Jake time. Oh yeah, that thing doesn't do any damage. Heal. Whipped. We wanna equip all this stuff. Yeah. Destroy one artifact and so would the both of those get destroyed when they go return to town?
Bam. What's this have to say? This orange creature continues to lurk around the guardians. There must be something particular special about them. If I were a gambling man, and I am in a dungeon with creatures that could potentially end one's life. So, yeah, I'm a gambling man. I would say these guardians are linked to that fifth door outside Ronka. I mean, four guardians, four strange shapes along the door, basic math. Perhaps that orange creature knows more. Seems to have noticed I have noticed it. Anyways, it seemed to notice that noticing confrontation of some sort is to be inevitable now. Huh. Potion, potion. Potion. Ah. Zap. Oh yeah, I can't. What we got in this chest? Cool. Ah! Huh. Critical. Oop. Let me talk to you real quick. There we go. The hell is this? There's one thing here. Huh? This is an empty room. Huh, interesting. And I also walked into a wall. Neat. That's how I do things. Looking UFO looking ass. All right, we got to heal. Let's see what this message says. Upon further inspection, the registered positional errors appear to be associated with dimensional rift energy, but hell, we are decades away from with the blur. All right, we're gonna do some damage. Too far away. God oh, damn. Ow. Why did I only hit it once? There we go. There we go. I got a double hit on that one. All right, I think it's time to return. And then deposit our junk, unless it's daytime, and then might as well just sell it. Because if it is daytime, I'll just sell this stuff and get more money. So I could go to and fro. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'll sell it. But I gotta get the other stuff from my Mimic. Mimic Chan. Mimic. 
Mimic Chat. Wait, I did that all wrong. I did that wrong. I meant to put it in my chest, not put it on my body. Or person. So much back and forth. Alright, so withdraw, deposit, deposit. Let's go sell some junk. Oh, let me deposit the green goop. All right, here we go. Welding gun. Get twelve thousand. Copper reel. Copper reel. Damn, we're making bank. Tesla coil engine. Fifty five hundred. Hell yeah, look at that. More money. Cool. All the money. All right. All right, sell shit. We're gonna be making bank. It's gonna go like... It's gonna be like, holy shit, biscuits. We're selling everything. Nothing's on sale, because I don't feel like throwing anything in there. Look at that, 100,000 already. Selling all the junk. Ten that guy, come on, you don't know how to pick up your own shit. Wolfram Rock. Six seven thousand. Eight six thousand. There we go. Selling all the good shit. Bye bye. Hold on, hold on. I got more shit probably. All right, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. Let me roll around. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Whew. Yeah, you want it? Yeah, good stuff. Tungsten reel. What? New. Thousand four hundred and sixty. Don't judge me. Wait, was that a 
thief? Are you a thief? Oh, we got two thieves. You better not steal anything. I'll be mad. You're gonna steal it, aren't you? Bitch. Get out of here, you freaking thief. Asshole. Mine. We sell it at an outrageous price. What's this guy want? Uh, sure. Uh, selling. Selling. Gold strands. Wait, I don't have a price for these? What? What is this nonsense? Just like 2,000. It's not much, but it adds up. Oh, does someone want to buy something? Welcome. Now we got shit. Now we got just got garbage. There we go. That's all I have. Sometimes I wish I could just like modify like how much you can get, like uh, how fast people are. This would be hilarious. Just like change the hex values or whatever in the game and just like put the oh this guy needs assistance put the put the like the visitor speed at like a billion and then the game just crashes because you made him run too fast what you bastard why can't you get it yourself it's not hard you just pick it up and say hey cloth tangle no That guy's got a mustache. He's gonna be like, oh, yes. Good stop. Do do. 46,000. Hot dog. We're making blank. B -b 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 blank. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Wait, what was it? Oh, people don't want it. Huh. We made two million dollar dulios. So, people didn't want that. The demand is low. Oh well. Demand this. Gotta put this stuff here. Yeah, we made two million dollars today. Check. Alright. Uh, let's use the portal. Ooh, we got two, uh... Support buddy that can use its lightning bolt to transform an enemy, an enemy dead body into a potion. Oh, I like my mimic. Cause I can have more items. More items. All right, let's get to the next floor. This is the last floor. Yeah, this is the third floor. Hey, 
Man, everything's so tough. This is gonna be rough. Ugh. Oh, what's this? Don't mind me, just rolling through a bunch of electrical uh, puddles. There goes my buffer. Great. Ah, you bitch. Oh shit, I rolled into that one. All right, this is a dead end. We don't like dead ends. This can't get shit done if it's dead. Oh, more lore. That's not how you read it. Okay. Heroes and merchants, one cool, one not as cool. They really are two sides of the, to the same coin, but I guess it's impossible to see both sides of a coin at once, unless you have a mirror <gasps> or two coins. Perhaps they will see they are not so different someday. On that day, I hope these dungeons relinquish their secrets. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Are oh, these guys so freaking tough? Oh, God. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna need some more potions soon. Uh, all right. Ooh, I saw it with my own eyes. Upon exiting lab 105, the door became covered in this green slime. Examination proved it to be a perfect housing for dimensional energy. What the hell? Oh shit. It looks like a boss. We must. I think it's time. It's time to do the boss. Oh, what's this say? Has anyone else encountered this gray uh, totem containing green slime? It will open all doors, even if gods are present in the chamber. Maybe I shouldn't question such blessing. Huh. Interesting. Wait a second. That was my mimic. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna need some potions. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go with this uh the best we can. All right, we're gonna deposit this stuff, make a few, 
Potions? Excuse me. Do the few rollies. Anything here? Everything's done there. Go in here. Should we have the lady sell stuff? Nah, she takes like all the money. She's a little bitch. Freaking bash. We have everything situated here before we go. You look well today. What would he do? Uh, I think we're good here. Yeah. All right. Let's check the the hawker dude. <laughs> oh, what's this? Naja miniature. Increase the probability of generous customers. Yep. Hold on. Uh, where did it go? Oh, is it the middle thing? Oh, here it is. Generous customers. Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. It's not like we're doing that right now anyways because we're going back into the dungeon uh, we're gonna beat this boss probably we got enough potions but the unfortunate thing is we can't equip more potions when we're in a fight oh shit uh oh Oh god, it's a ball. Oh. The hell? What if I just shoot it with my arrow? Alright, too far away, like an idiot. Oh god. Get, get fucked. No. Where are you? There you are. Ow. the hell? Hell yeah, you can't hit me. Haha. <laughs> Lol. I'm cheap. <laughs> this is so cheap. But I don't care. Can I charge this up and just shoot it like this? Where is he? Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Damn, look at that damage. Uh-oh. Oh, I 
I hit the wrong button. Damn. Look at the damage. Let's go for a shabam. Hey, bitch. Wait, is it dead? Die! Deal. Oh shit, we defeated the light bulb. Oh shit. We defeated the light bulb. Ring that boosts the owner's health by canceling the double damage of a secondary attack. Huh. All this shit is so bad. Where, where's my quadruple damage double health amulet? Loading. 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 We got the fourth key. The gate is now open. Oh, shit. Talk to the old man, see what he has to say. Yes, hello, Sonny. That tech guardian has fallen. The fit door's now open. Old Pete was right. May he rest in peace now. You've accomplished more than anyone ever could have done. If I asked you to leave it be, to not go into the fit door, would you listen? No. No one knows what lies beyond that door. I see it, though. That spark behind your eyes. Curiosity. You won't stop. Your grandfather wouldn't stop you. Uh, uh, wouldn't expect you to either. Good luck, Will. Just be safe. I tell you to stop, but I don't care. <laughs> Anything new? Probably not. Nothing's new. Alright, Chess Chan. Alright, you know what? Before we go in... Let's put stuff on... In the pit. There we go. Wait, what's this? Oh, we did it. We opened all of them. Let's see what's in the fifth door. Oh shit. I'm excited. To see what's in the fifth door. Wonder what the old man has. Nope, he has nothing else to say. All right, we're going. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> What's in here? Oh shit. Unknown dungeon one. Oh shit. What the hell? There's no map. Wait, what is this? The hell? Huh. Who's this guy? What the hell? Are these aliens? The hell? Huh. Huh. So these are the keys to open this door. What, what are this? What are this? Man, I can read. I could speak good. Reports indicate a watch or our trial. We may have to seal ourselves away to mask our signal. Oh, shit. We have been forced to enact Operation Lock the Door. The minion is to shut. 
Dominion is to shut ourselves in using four keys. It will then hide those until the Watcher stops looking for us in this sector. We predict a month should be an adequate amount of time to lose them. Hmm. Okay. That stupid ma min error. Uh. It's been over two months since we shut ourselves away in here. Resources are running low. Where is the Dominion to set us free? Meanwhile, we have started development on prototy Prototype L. Prototype L? More like Prototype Loser. There is only way, there is only way to escape. Supercharge the dimensional engine, crash into another dimension. Or crash, or crash the void. Anything looks better than starving to death. Error. Err. Ignoring the problems brewing, we have nearly finished prototype L's chamber. The boss really wants to try the new body, but we are unsure if it's safe yet. Prototype L is finally fair. Prototype L. L. Escape from this tomb seems to be fading away as possibility. Three months going now, our soldiers had to put an end to some riots last week. We need to find a way to escape. This is getting out of hand. Several co workers went and met and were instantly killed by the soldiers. Two problems solved with one solution riots and lack of food. <gasps> oh shit! Lack of soldiers? Did I read these? This next set of dimensions are looking to be very promising. With enough synthetic and natural resources from them, we can start prototype G. Body prototype development from other dimensional tech is proving successful. Each variation seems to have a lower percentage of body rejection. Okay. Time to go uh, north. Oh shit. Uh, why is my minion over here? Okay, let me equip. Oh shit. Into the portal we go. Oh, never mind. Wait a second, what am I supposed to do? Huh. Why is my mini here? Oh shit! I was supposed to dive into it. I'm yawning. Don't mind my yawnage. Oh shit, Unknown Dungeon 2. Oh crap. Looks like someone finally came to help us. These are no ancient ruins, boy. We are pirates, me and my dead men now. You, so many centuries trapped here, must make up for lost time. Rebuild my crew, pillage countless more systems. For your assistance, I thank you and will allow you to leave, boy. I said leave. Oh god. Oh, this is this is actually wider than I thought it was. Get me. 
pirate man. Aha! What the hell? Oh. Shit. You'll never take me alive, pirate man. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh come on, that's cheap. Ugh. I wonder if we have to fight the first guy again. Probably. back. Alright, let's do this carefully. slime ball I gotta make sure I don't eat shit I got three potions this time oh shit Killed it. Oh shit. Is it dead though? Oh. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh 
Uh oh. Who's that guy? Are these the pirate dudes? Listen here now, you can't just shut down the dungeons and forbid entry. Just who do you think you are? Old man, look. These dungeons are structures built from pieces of other of other dimensions. With the sole purpose of allowing easy and streamlined looting. Look at your late age. Did you really think all these artifacts just grew on trees? You, sir, will uh, address myself with proper respect. You are the outsider here. If all that you say is true, why appear now? Dungeons have been here for a lifetime. Sir, this is a very complicated matter. Please excuse myself if my manners are not of top priority. We have been looking for them for well over one of your lifetimes. We lost track of them over the geyser dimension and have been unable to track them ever since. Some beacon of theirs must have been recently activated, allowing us to locate this world. Hmm, interesting. You keep saying them. Who are these them? Dimensional pirates. <gasps> oh. Dimensional pirates? Dimensional pirates. That's what I just said. A race of creatures made completely of dimensional fluid. Because of this, they developed interdimensional travel. Attack very quickly. Instead of sharing their knowledge, and they took to stealing them from other dimensions. According to our reports, they should be hiding just beyond that door. <sighs> Who's that boy? He isn't a pirate, is he? Of course he isn't. Will, what a sorry looking kid. Are you alright, Will? I look like a freaking soldier. You said what? You waged battle against a jellyfish robot? That must have been their boss. Never liked that guy. And you say there are no more creatures inside? They all killed each other because, because they were trapped in there? Oh, this is rich. Honestly, almost too good to be true. Please wait here a moment as I discuss the current situation with my crew. You there, Lieutenant. Disperse this crowd. We need space. Aye, right, Captain. Except for the old man and the youngling that just fell out of that door. Pirates. No, these people. Thieves. All of them. Alright, people. Nothing to see here. You heard the Captain. You don't have to go home, but... Well, you should probably go home. Might be the last time you see it. Okay, move please. Oh shit. Did I ruin my my whole town because I killed the boss? Upon discussion, I have come to a conclusion. For taking part in the theft of other dimensionals artifacts, everyone on this planet will be arrested. At least, technically we should do that. But, this young boy served his part in helping us locate these pirates. He even went so far as to defeat the pirate boss. For now, let's just say the thieving won't be included in my report. And as far as I can see, we do not need to invest in further investigation. We will be shutting down these dungeons, though. The continued use of them would be knowingly illegal action at this point. We shall not leave you high and dry, though. Due to your contact with other dimensional cultures, we can't just leave you be. Honestly, I would like to just wipe all your memories. But oh man, did that become taboo for a reason. That planet never really recovered. Anyways, back to the now. We, we will be inviting you to take part of the ICT. The Dimensional Commerce Treaty. This will allow you to illegally trade and act in commerce with other dimensions. Preparation to include you and your planet will take some time. For now, please inform your people and prepare them for the coming days. Alright. I'll call this a win. Let's pack it up. We will return with the treaty soon, guys. It's been real. It's been a pleasure. I wouldn't go so far as to say a real pleasure, but you guys get it. Oh! Don't tell anyone you use the dungeons, or we will come arrest everyone. Okay, peace! All right. My mimic. I, I am still a little confused as to what just transpired, but I have to say, it would appear you have done this town in our world a great service, Will. 
Next time though, can you just listen to me and stay home? This is just too much excitement for my own bones. Let us return town. Let's return to town and spread the good news. Is it good news? I guess. <gasps> we beat it. Wow. That was good news, guys. We didn't even do anything. We just went straight to the end. Good news. Wonderful. Skip. Uh-oh. Okay, it's loading. Congrats. New Game Plus mode is now available. Uh... The forge is ablaze and ready to craft whatever you may need. Oh. Is that it? New game plus? What's this? Energy flux miniature. Increase the probability of generous customers. Yep. Cool. Sounds good to me. I think we beat the game. All right. First things first. Wait, what's this say? Nothing. Our bed's a freaking mess. Let's rest. Yes, I slept all day. Now it's nighttime. And now, we call it quits. This is not Moonlighter. Is that the game's called? Yeah, Moonlighter. Every time when I name the game, I usually forget what the hell the name of the game is. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. And my uh, short synopsis, or wait, my short review of the game. Pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I took a lot of the thought process out by looking up the pricing on all the items, but honestly, I didn't really, when I was doing it in the first few episodes, I didn't really like it very much other than, I mean, sure, but I'm just like, whatever. So yeah. So yeah. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.